Just after Pope John Paul II's death in April 2005, a large amount of water fell on Chicago, and a mysterious water stain appeared here under the Kennedy Expressway. It was said to have an uncanny resemblance to the Virgin Mary, and its appearance was soon dubbed a miracle. Thousands of people came here to witness the site for themselves, and it soon became a Chicago stain mark. I mean, landmark, Chicago landmark. The response to the stain under the expressway was unpredictable. The Illinois Department of Transportation attributed its appearance and formation to a salt runoff, but that didn't stop thousands of people coming here to see it firsthand. The city eventually had to come in and erect barriers because so many people had come here with flowers, candles and iconography and just to pray to the stain of the Virgin Mary. Not all reactions to the stain were positive, unfortunately. Just three weeks after its appearance, a man riding by on his bicycle got off and scribbled big lie over the stain. The onlookers saw him and flagged down a police officer who arrested him a couple of blocks away. Eventually, the man was charged with a misdemeanor count of defacing public property. This prompted maintenance workers, at the suggestion of the police, to cover the stain and graffiti with brown paint. The stain was gone, although not for long. Two of the employees from the express car wash used engine degreaser to remove the paint. And by some miracle, the salt stain was still there. With the paint removed, the vigil resumed even stronger than before for its second miraculous appearance. Soon, the crowds dwindled, although a few faithful followers still maintain this site, and they've been doing so for years. You can walk past and see fresh flowers and candles still here at the site. The impact of such an event reached much further than just the viaduct. In 2009, the Greenhouse Theatre Company produced a play about the stain, and the site now maintains a 2.8 Yelp review online. For a while, the salt stain on Fulton Avenue under the Kennedy Expressway was one of the most popular obscure Chicago landmarks. Although almost forgotten today, it remains part of Chicago's weird and interesting history. This story was suggested by AJ, and if you would like to suggest your own story, you can do so on Facebook under Chicago Aussie. I'll put a link in the description.